Today we'll be looking at page 38 in our books, and we're going to be learning about the musical phrase. So a phrase is a musical idea or thought, and a phrase is often shown in the music with a slur, which can also be called a phrase mark. So if you look at this example here at the top of your page, you can see here that we have several notes and a long slur underneath all of those notes, which we will call the phrase mark. So if I were to play all of those notes in that phrase, I'm going to play very legato. But the important thing to remember about a phrase is that each note in the phrase is like a word in a sentence. So if you think of a phrase as a musical sentence and each one of those notes as a word, all of the notes are important and it takes all of those notes to make up the full phrase. And so they make up a meaningful uh, group of notes that we would think of like a musical sentence. And we call that a phrase. So we're going to look at the song Morning here. And the first thing I'm going to do is to go through here and look to see how many phrases I actually have. And in this piece, they have actually marked the phrases for you. So I start here and I've got this long curved line, this long slur that goes all the way from here. And actually this is a continuation of the same phrase marking to here. So these first two lines of the song are one phrase. When I get to the second page, you can see it's marked here for us. Second phrase will be all through here, all along here. And then finally, when I get to square 17, I've got that third phrase that goes all along here and all through here. And then notice right here at the end, we have a tie within a slur. So this note here, I'm gonna hold for six beats because it's a dotted half note tied to another dotted half note. So I'll hold that for six full beats. So what I'm going to do is to try to really think of each phrase as an individual idea or an individual musical sentence. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my left hand thumb on middle C, and my right hand uh, thumb is also going to be on middle C, and the reason I know that is because if I look down here where my right hand first begins to play, I can see that I start on a D, finger two on D, which means my thumb will be on C. So for now, my thumbs are sharing middle C, and I am in three, four, so I'm going to be counting one, two, three, one, two, three, following the notes as they move up and down, by step and by skip. So my first phrase goes like this. straight into square nine, the second phrase of the music up here. And I'm going to start that with my right hand. Hands are still in the same position, thumbs on middle C. Very legato. Song morning. 